Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. First half of June. All right, we have material world and we have action. Okay, so somebody is taking, I feel, some very strong action here in the 3D. So it's not just thinking, it's not just energetic, it's actual um, physical action is the way that it is coming through. So let's, let's see, this could be you, this could be your person. and Venus signs. For the first half of June 2021, what is going on? Okay, so for the situation, we have the Ten of Swords crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. So there's some kind of an ending here, some kind of an ending, um, it could be it, within this connection, it could be concerning another situation, um, but there is an ending that, uh, that it feels like um, it could open up the door to something new, but there is some kind of a blockage when it comes to actually opening up that door. It also feels like that door almost has to be opened first before this ending can completely resolve itself. So I don't know exactly what that means just yet, but let's continue and we'll see as we move along. We have the Four of Swords for the recent past and the King of Swords for the near future. Okay, yeah, so there may have been a lot of healing that has been done and a lot of, or maybe some passivity in the past where it felt like things weren't moving. But we're moving from that energy to the King of Swords in the near future, which again is talking about that action, determinism, and actually doing something. Let's see for you, we have the Six of Cups. For them, we have the Moon. More for you is the Queen of Swords. For them, the Five of Swords. Potential outcome is the Seven of Swords. And a message for you here is the Three of Wands. Okay, Taurus. So let's see, what is going on here? It feels a little complicated. It definitely feels like this is you who is taking some action here, actually. I feel like it is you taking this action, possibly when it comes to a situation in your past, I feel like there is something that you are longing for, you are nostalgic, you are thinking about something from the past and ready to take some action, or at least you're, you're building up to that. Um, however, again, I do feel like there is some kind of an ending that is required first. And I don't know if it's for this situation or something within this connection or if it's something completely different. And it feels like it's really, okay, here's how it's coming through now, that it's really actually taking that first step. It's opening up that door to allowing that ending to actually take place in order for there to be more action and for you to actually get things moving here. For them, I see a lot of confusion. I feel like there's a lot of um, mystery, almost feeling like they're in the dark about what might be going on. And again, you know, keep in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed here, okay? And there's some people that are cross-watching, so it, the roles could be either way. And I also see that this person may not be very trustful, okay, with that Five of Swords. It could be that they might be um, deceiving themselves or you on a certain aspect, but this is mostly coming through to me as distrust, especially in combination with the moon. All right, and I do see that lack of trust kind of continuing on here 
for June at least. So we'll see, we'll see. I feel like, you know, the message here for you is to kind of, you know, give this situation some, some time. So let's clarify, let's clarify and see. Let's see the Ten of Swords crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. Sorry, that's the Knight of Wands. The Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands and the Fool. Okay, so there's there's somebody here, there is a connection here where there is a lot of love, all right? And it feels like it's that pure, genuine type of, of love. However, this particular situation with this person has proven to be quite challenging. I feel like you you may have almost given up on this situation, but there's this push inside of you to actually begin to move forward. And it's something that is very challenging to achieve because it is going to require some kind of a leap of faith here, which is related to um, an ending which you know you believe is going to be a little bit painful. Now again, it could be your person, all right, if this is not you. Um, but that's, it's like the whole issue here is about actually taking that first step, opening up that door to at least um, seeing this as a possibility, seeing it as a reality that, yeah, you know what? This can be done. This There is a situation in my life that does need to end. Just being open to that potential, I feel, is actually the first step. And that once that happens, you know, then it's like the ball is just rolling. Let's see what is going on with you in with that six of cups we have the seven of pentacles I don't know why we keep getting so many cards here it's like there's a lot of ones that come through for you all right seven of pentacles the king of cups the three of pentacles and the eight of swords so again it's like there because i do feel like this is you okay unless the roles are reversed um there's a connection here that you would want to go back to. There is a lot of nostalgia, a lot of missing, somebody that you feel a lot of love for, somebody that you feel, you know, you could have this balance of, of teamwork with. This could even be somebody who you feel, you know, you have helped or maybe they have helped you in the past. Maybe it's somebody that where you were working together on something and I do see you wanting to take these steps, wanting to move in that direction. But it feels more like you're you're trying to organize it so much in your mind, like thinking about how would you go about this? How is it going to be? How can it work out? Can it work out? Is this person even willing to compromise with me? Um, would they be willing to work together with me on this? Are they going to reciprocate this love? It's like you're just, there's just so much overthinking involved here that it's creating some fear and it's just overly analyzing in your mind, all right, with that seven of pentacles. It's like, yeah, you know, wanting to take those steps, but it's like you're just, it feels more of thinking about it rather than actually doing it yet, okay? Although I do see you moving in that direction, as I said, with that king of swords. So let's, uh, let's actually see the queen of swords which is also in your energy. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know, there's, again, it, it's just showing up as this person that you really, really want here. There's somebody that you, again, you feel so much love for, and I do feel like this love was reciprocated to you at some point in the past. And this person is just very desirable to you. You're very clear about you you wanting this and i feel like you're you're really trying to build up to actually um 
if it's not communicating because maybe you're already in communication, it's opening up more emotionally, allowing yourself to actually follow your heart and move towards move towards love to what you're being called towards. Let's see what's going on with this person. All right, we have so clarifying the moon, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person's still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you, but I feel like they're feeling... Um, well, first of all, they're feeling like they could really have this happiness with you. All right, with the sun being here, they're feeling like this is something that could be potentially very fulfilling for them. They're still holding on to this, but at the same time, I feel like they're being um, very, very cautious. Almost like there's this wariness that's coming through and it's actually coming through um, throughout the reading for them as well as for the potential outcome. Just being very wary and just not very trustful, even though deep down they do feel this love. Um, they do feel this connection with you. Now, for some of you, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Leo, definitely let me know. Um, doesn't have to be. That's, those are just the signs that, that I'm seeing stand out to me. Let's clarify that Five of Swords. Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the thing with them. Like I said, you know, they're, it's like they've lost trust um, in this connection. They're not sure what to trust, what not to trust. Uh, they don't know what's going on. Um, for some of them, they might even feel like you may have been deceitful um, to a certain extent. Okay, again, roles can be reversed, but I feel like they're trying to work on that. I feel like this person, um, even though they're in the dark, they really don't know what, you, what you're going to do. I feel like they don't want to feel this way about you. Um, so it's like they're trying to bring in some kind of balance. They're trying to level themselves out when it comes to this distrust and to really try to see like between the lines almost, okay, with that Ace of Swords. I feel like deep down they know the truth. They know how you feel about them. And so this is why they're kind of working on themselves, possibly not even re really understanding why they don't want to feel this way. Almost like they can feel that you are, you know, kind of trying to build yourself up to take some action for them. And because they do believe that this could be something genuine, this could be something very fulfilling, they want to overcome this this distrust that has come between the two of you. I feel like they would actually be very willing to, to work this out. So let's see the King of Swords for the near future. Okay, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay, if that's not action towards love, then I don't know what is, all right? This is a lot of determination. This is a lot of action. So I do see that coming up. I do, again, I do feel like this is you. I mean, it could be your person, but I mostly see this as being you, even though it doesn't really feel like your energy. Um, I feel like, you know, there's just, you know, you being an earth sign, but at the same time, it's like there's a lot of, a lot of thinking and a lot of action here that's actually quicker than what you would normally do. But again, as I said, I feel like, you know, it's taking you a while to actually open up that door. But once you do, I feel like, you know, then things are just going to kind of, you're just going to get this push and you're just going to be like, all right, it's go time. It's go time. And I want to move towards love, whatever that is, whether it's a specific person or whether that's even, you know, um, allowing something to end in order to find self-love. Okay. It could be that as well. So just take it as it resonates, but I do see you moving in that direction and it's, you know, I mean, future energies, they're never, they're never really set in stone. Okay, so it's up to you. And the message that I'm seeing here is that as long as you allow that door to open to a particular ending, that's when you are going to get that support and, you know, doors will just open up for you, allowing you to quickly move towards love. 
So let's actually see the Seven of Swords for the potential outcome here. All right, the Four of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Emperor. All right, so it might... I feel like there is going to be a little bit of, as I said, some wariness here. Like, you know, if you if you are the one approaching somebody here, if you're approaching a specific person, this person might be might seem a little bit indifferent to begin with. Okay. Um, however, there is this this enthusiasm. There's still this excitement for a new beginning with you, all right? We also have the emperor here, which is telling me that, you know, as long as you are standing in your power and as long as you know exactly what it is that you want and you you're, you show that you are confident that you can actually bring this trust back. So, I mean, to me, it just feels like this would be almost um, inevitable. You know, it, it would only be natural um, for there to be some caution or for somebody to not be 100% certain. But like I said, beneath that, beneath that, there is this um, willingness to make it work. It's just that it might take a little bit of... Um, I don't want to say convincing exactly, but it will take a little bit of effort and, you know, for there to actually be this action, <laughs> you know, and as the final message here with the three of wands, you know, it, things like this sometimes do take a little bit of time before they can get to a place where everything just feels like, okay, now we found this balance. Now we have rebuilt this trust. So allow that time to kind of, you know, play out in this situation. Um, yeah, again, definitely the roles can be reversed here. So Taurus, if this resonated, let's get your final message. got two. So we have hold your vision, the fixed moon, and your commitment is being tested, which is the fir first quarter moon. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I feel like these actually um, fit very, very well with what I was just saying here at the end. All right. Hold your vision and your commitment is being tested. So just give it time and allow the, the trust to be rebuilt. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.